guitar enthusiasts and Beatles fans, welcome to my simple guitar tutorial on the song Get Back, which is very, very simple. I mean, it uses three chords, but it could technically only use two if you want it. It doesn't get any simpler than this. The rhythm we're going to use on this song is all eighth note downstrom. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And so if I play an A chord, it is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And I'm doing all downstrums with my strumming hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now, the three chords we're gonna use in this song is an A chord, an A7 chord, and a D chord. So if you don't know what an A7 chord is yet, and you know A major, all you have to do is lift up your middle finger and you have A7. So your G string is played open. It's basically the chord that I tell my students that it's the only time I will allow them to flip me off. So you lift up your middle finger and that is your A7 chord. Very, very easy switch. Um, the Beatles use that a lot, that A to A7. So let's talk about this intro. So the intro is three measures of A, and then there's kind of like this split measure where we have A for two beats, and then we have B, A, one and two and three, oh sorry, it's one and two and three, four, B, A. So the intro, um, if you need the chord chart for this, you can get it at my website, laurenbateman.com. But the intro is going to be three measures of A, one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two, three, four and. And then the very final measure is this one and two and three. And that pops up a lot in the song. It's kind of used as like a little transitional piece. Um, but that is the intro for this song. Now the verse follows the pattern. So this pattern is pretty much the rest of your song. So it's A, A7, D, and A. And the video I used to make this off was like the live version on the roof in London somewhere. They did a performance. So that's what this one is based off of. Um, so we're gonna start with the verse, which is an A for one measure. One and two and three and four and. Then we're gonna go to A7. One and two and three and four and. D, one and two and three and four and. A, one and two and three and four and. And then we just repeat that again. A, one and two and three and four and. A7, one and two and D, and then A. And that is your verse. Now this continues into the chorus. The chorus is the same exact thing, except we get one of those little transitional measures in there. So we have an A, one and two and three and four. A seven, two, three, So again, I mean, if, if you can't do that, if you can't do that DA really quick, just play A, no big deal. Uh, it adds a little spice to the song if you can do it. Then after that, we've got this little solo, which looks a lot like the same progression we've been playing. It's the chord progression, and then on the second progression, we do the, the DA part. So we have our solo section, which is gonna be A, one, two, three and four, A7, D, and A, then we have it again, A, A7, then D, then we have our little transitional pace, A, three, four, and then we get another chorus. And on the end of the second chorus, we're actually gonna hold that A at the very end. So it's get back, get back, get back to where you once belong. Get back, get back, get back to where you once belong. Two, three, four, and then
then we have solo. That solo piece again. And then if I keep going, we have another verse, another chorus, another solo, another chorus, and then an outro, which is technically the solo piece again. So song, super, super simple, easy to memorize. Once you get through the intro, it's pretty much the same chord progression. You just have to know when that little extra spice of that quick D, A comes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it from the intro. I'm gonna play through a very quick intro verse and chorus for you and just give you the song. And then you can go and practice it on your own and soon enough, you'll be a pro. One, two, three, four. One. And that's it. You just keep repeating that for the entire song. Super, super simple song by the Beatles. Gotta love them. So there you go. That is Get Back by the Beatles. Practice hard and soon you'll have it in no time.